nerds, it's Teary. Welcome back to my show. Last week was my birthday and I got super spoiled. There's so many more things. My family is just amazing. They spoil me and it just makes me feel so fortunate. I just want to cry. Now that I've successfully come off as a superficial spoiled brat onto the show, this will be the last news video that you see this hair in because it's getting taken care of tomorrow. Thank God. Topics of today include the new companion mobile app for World of Warcraft, a new mount dropping rare spawn discovered in Legion, Dark Moon Fair updates, a Karazhan slash Trial of Valor raid teaser, and flying in Legion. The new Legion companion app for your mobile device is free for Android and iOS, and it allows you to track just about everything in your order hall. You can see what missions are available for your companions to complete for you, and you can actually send them out on missions. You can manage your order advancement system and choose advancements, actually selecting them for your order hall. You can manage your champion's equipment and summon up new troops. If you're level 110 and you have completed the quest Uniting the Isles, you can track the world quests see what they reward and how much time is left on them. You cannot be logged into the mobile app and the game on your computer at the same time as it uses the same battle.net ID. It will save your login so you don't have to keep logging back in and it is compatible with the Bnet Authenticator. The Legion Companion app is currently a separate app from the WoW Armory app, but it may be combined in the far future if they see fit but they wanted one specifically for Legion. So go to your app store and get the app now and try it out. I'm gonna do that and I might even make a video soon. Recently, some players discovered how to summon a boss that drops a Fathom Dweller mount or a Hungering Claw pet. Supposedly the drops are rare, but at least now we know how to summon the boss slash world quest and actually have a chance at them. There are details as far as locations and order of what you're supposed to do in the comments when you look up Drakthul. The short of it is that you have to be level 110 and have the achievement done so that you can do world quests. Then you go to the Broken Shore and find Drakthul, talk to him, go get him a relic he wants from a cave, talk to him again until he gets really annoyed with you, and some orbs spawn, you click on them in the right order, which is very specific. Then the boss goes at the hungering, spawns, and you kill him and complete the world quest for a chance at the drops. Anytime someone spawns this boss, there will be a region-wide announcement so that people come and help you kill him and get a chance at the loot. Check the links in the description for more details. The Dark Moon Fair is back until the 11th, and there's some tips and tricks you can use to help you in your journeys in Legion. For instance, don't forget about the Dark Moon top hats that gives you a bonus reputation if you're grinding rep for flying in Broken Isles. Also, wee for bonus XP when you ride on the carousel. There is a Scarlet vendor behind the pony area in the zoo that actually sells some merchandise. If you wear the tabard of the Scarlet Crusade from Scarlet Halls, you can get the cropped tabard of the Scarlet Crusade as well as the plate and mail Scarlet Crusade sets. Also, don't forget about the Dark Moon Fair Legion decks. Yes, they have continued with these beloved inscription card decks. You can buy techniques from Professor Thaddeus Paleo, which reduce the materials needed to craft the cards. And keep in mind, the cards can be upgraded with Obliterum. Check the link in the description for more Dark Moon Fair Legion updates, as well as more about the cards. Blizzard uploaded a sweet teaser for Karazhan and Trial of Valor, all lumped into one pretty little package, both of which will be coming in patch 7.1. Many people are so excited to go back to Karazhan, spent many hours there, but still are like rearing to get back in there for some strange reason. We are all crazy. We're crazy people. Actually, the definition of crazy is repeating an action over and over again, expecting a different result. I guess we're not expecting a different result. We're expecting tons of fun and loot. One exciting thing about Karazhan is that it will be a step up from Mythic Dungeons in difficulty and in loot. So it's sort of like a segue to raids. It gives people a five man dungeon, which is nine bosses long by the way, and very difficult compared to regular dungeons at least, that gives us a challenge close to a normal mode raid, but with only five people. That's one special way to bond, folks. Then, as I said, at the end of this teaser, we see a little tidbit of Trial of Valor, the raid coming in 7.1, where we see Odin, Guarm, and we get to see Helia again. Oh, yay. We never did kill her in Helheim, but now, now, guys, it's time. 
I talked a little bit about flying in Legion. Broken Isles flying requires a little bit of work similar to the Draenor Pathfinder achievement. We have the Broken Isles Pathfinder part one, I think it's called. In the link in the description, you will find a very detailed guide on how to achieve these as well as the link to the tracker to see what of the achievement you have. There are a few differences to Draenor Pathfinder, such as there are no treasure gathering requirements. We have rep requirements, we have exploration requirements, we have quest requirements. We have Broken Isles Explorer, which requires you to explore five of the seven zones. It is account wide, so you can explore each individual zone on different characters, but each character has to have the entire zone explored. They can't just do parts on each character. That would be really silly. Lore Master of Legion is account wide. It requires you to complete the major storylines in each of the five zones. You can do each storyline on different characters and get credit, but the other storylines from the different zones is not account wide. That has to be all completed by one character. Frankly, four zones can be completed while leveling easily. Just follow the storylines in each zone and you're 110. I did like one dungeon and I did every zone. There's like a couple little things I didn't do, but that got me enough XP to get to 110. So I just basically saved the dungeons for last and I had that part of the achievement done. But then as you, after, you, but then of course, after you hit 110, you have to go to Suramar. The other major requirements for this achievement are to do 100 world quests, which kind of seems crazy, but supposedly they're gonna be really fun, so. I'm down with it. And you also have to get Broken Isles Diplomat, which is revered with all six of the Broken Isles factions. Honestly, I don't think the reputation is that bad. You're friendly by the time you finish the quest lines. Doesn't seem that bad to me at all. Lastly, a glorious campaign is required, which is to do one class campaign completely all the way through. No big deal. Everyone's going to want to do that anyways. So check the link in the description for more details. Wowhead has a really good guide as well as tips on getting reputation. I hope that that helps. Friday, September 9th at 11 a.m. Pacific time. If you are free, head on over to Warcraft's Twitch channel for a Q&A regarding anything Legion. The forum link as well as the Twitch channel link are in the description. Submit any questions you have in the forum and uh, I'm sure they will select popular ones to answer as many as they can in the time allotted. That is my show for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Please do drop me a like if you liked this video, leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Video days tend to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I hope to see you on the next one. Also check out my Twitch channel. I've been streaming almost every night after my daughter goes to bed and sometimes in the afternoons that aren't scheduled. I have scheduled streams Tuesdays and Fridays. The schedule is on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash tyranny. So I hope to see you there, but until then, please do take care of yourselves. I love you all. Bye-bye.